So uh, we're standing here in front of these incredible ice formations. Can you explain to people a bit about how this happens? Well, uh, normally in the November when we have the northeast winds, which we were affected uh, with, uh, and, and the lake is just about to freeze, we get the winds pushing the water onto the shore and freezing up. Uh, this year, it was December before that would happen. And because of the wind and the way the waves came in, uh, we had a really unique formation this year, which they more look like boulders rather than a wall. And it stems from one end of the beach to uh, the other end. I personally have never seen uh, this type of formation uh, along the uh, shoreline like this. Well, have you noticed an uh, influx of people from outside of Winnipeg Beach? Oh yeah, you know, in the last uh, week we've noticed quite a few people come out and they've heard that, uh, heard about the ice formation through the media or through the uh, internet, uh, looking at the pictures. So uh, it uh, piqued their interest and they came out and it's great for ice fishing out here. Uh, we have a great lake for fishing, so there's a few uh, places right now that have their huts up there and you can bring a tent and drill a hole on the lake and you'll be able to catch some fish. And if you've never come here, there's a great place in the summertime. We have a beautiful brand new boardwalk. Uh, we have different types of festivals. We have a great campground. We probably have the best provincial campground in Manitoba. Uh, everything that you need for a campground is here and so close. Everything is in walking distance to you.